long time no see. Indeed, it's been a very long time, it's been months. It has actually been, well, sort of you were in the vlogs over Christmas, but a video like this, it has really been a while. Yes, it has. I have joined with my brother Harry, and today we are going to be filming a drive with me slash mukbang slash Q&A life catch up before he actually heads back to uni because we're at the end of his time off. There is a reason why it hasn't really been in the videos, uh, that will become clear. Um, where are we going? We are going to Costa. There is a new Costa near us, a new drive through one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to go explore that. We actually have two free drinks. Two free drinks, courtesy of uh, Janine. Janine's Costa Club card. We're going to get some food as well. Right, anyway, we are going to get going. We're going to head off and get some food. I'm actually really hungry. Hi, could I get a ham and cheese panini, please? Get that with a latte. The vegan corn ham and cheese toasty as well, please. Thank you. No worries, I'll go grab one. Perfect. Thanks a lot. I love being fussy. We have parked up, we've got our Costa. We do. I need to take my rings off because I can't eat with rings on. What? It makes them like greasy and like you just gotta take your rings off to eat. Oh my god, if I took my jewellery off to eat, I'd... I just always have it, okay? So. That's so weird, that's so niche as well, I didn't know that about you. I'll take my rings off to eat. <laughs> what have you got from Costa? I have a ham and cheese panini. Very plain and boring. It's but not a panini. They don't do the paninis at the drive through It's a toasty. And mine is a toasty, but it's vegan, corn, ham and cheese. And we've both got lattes. So so, but mine's a normal latte and Molly's is a semi-skilled coconut milk with three oysters and a... <laughs> <I don't laughs> that would be the most big drink ever. Oh, it's an oyster. Three oysters. I was trying to emphasise that you make it as, po as hard no. as possible. Mm -mm. For... Mm -hmm. You do make some weird noises, don't you? Oh no, my cheese is on the run. Oh no. It's dribbling. On the run. So basically, I kind of feel as though this video is going to be a lot of like me asking questions at Harry because it's been a while since he's had like a chat. I've got some questions as well, but also you guys asked me questions about Harry the other day when I asked for questions on my Instagram and I thought I'd kind of tie it all in together. So, how are you? How's life? How's uni been slash going? Uh, it's going good. I have recently just done a few exams. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm now done with them actually as of today. Um, gone pretty well, I think. Mm. Well, I, I got my um, score straight away from my one today because it was a multiple choice one and I got 80%, which is a first. That's so good. So I was very happy with that because, you, well, you only need 40% to pass first year. Mm. Fingers crossed. That's, yeah, that <laughs> is, it's looking good. Add to me that you're like nearly halfway through your first year or like pretty, you're pretty I was thinking off. that. I was thinking by the time I go back, I'll only have like three months left at uni and I've already mm. had three months of mm. uni so I am halfway through first year. That's actually crazy to me. Which kind of brings me on to the next question. What are your plans for second year? Obviously if you don't know Harry's at Leeds Beckett so he's living in Leeds at the moment. I have a house sorted um, with three of my friends who actually all live here. Mm -hmm. None of them are <laughs> none of them are people friends I've made there. It works well because two of us are actually on the Headingly Uni, I'm me being one of them, mm -hmm. and I'm literally like a five minute walk from the campus. And it's also got a driveway, so I can take my car. Which is really good. Which is really good. If you don't know how Leeds back at uni works, one of the campuses is out in Headingley, which is like a surrounding town. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Are you joking oh, me? No. <laughs> how has that happened? <laughs> Harry, that's a nice top as well. It just fell out. I told you it was on the run. <laughs> That's really bad. I don't have any napkins. I didn't get any napkins. This isn't ideal. <laughs> I remember now why I don't film with you. What? You can put that in there because I'm done in the time that's taken you. It's really not going to get any better than no, that. No, I know. Give me a second. I just need to sort, sort my life out. This has not been a successful. You mukbang. <laughs> Harry eats outside the car because he's. We'll go again. All right, we'll try that again. We were saying if you don't know how the Leeds Unis work. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to get camp to 10 over there? <laughs> what are you laughing at right now? <laughs> yeah, so we were saying that the campus is split between Leeds and Headingley, which is like about five miles out. Uh, yeah, something like that. So Harry's going to be living there. However, that sort of brings us on to the sponsor of this video. I'm very excited to be working with this brand. Wait. Wait, I'm gonna wear this hoodie for this section of the video because it is really kindly sponsored by Uni Homes. Huge, huge shout out to them. If you are a student watching this, and I know that so, so many of you are, here is a prime example of one Hello. in my real life, then you may have heard of them. But if you haven't, Uni Homes are a company that help you find the best possible deals for student housing. From first hand experiences, Looking for houses can take up a lot of time, especially when you're also studying alongside of it. Mm -hmm. You just want it to be as easy and as smooth sailing as possible. It is not an extra stress that you need on top of like your degree and you know like 
living uni homes take the stress away from that situation when you are looking on uni homes website all bills are included within the rent prices of the houses which is actually a huge deal breaker because you might think you're getting an absolute bargain but if then you're putting a deposit down and you're renting it out and the bills aren't included on top of that it's going to get really expensive pretty quickly that is not the case with uni homes they saw all of that for you and ensure that it is all included in the price on the website there are thousands of properties to compare plus the payment stays the same every single month so there are no like extra bills during the winter when you might be using more gas or electric also each student pays from their own account so there is no more transferring between housemates because that can get very sketchy sometimes yeah and a bit annoying you don't want to be waiting for a payment you're paying from your own account you know that you've done your bit and you're good to go i know so many of you that will be watching this will be going into second year third year maybe even fourth year finding somewhere to live is quite a crucial part of being a student so if you are a university student and you're looking at moving into a student house and you don't really know where to start i really recommend checking out the uni homes website they have everything you could possibly need all in one place and the link will be the top line in the description huge shout out to the brand for sponsoring the beginning of this q a we are just going to keep on answering your questions. Cheers. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cheers. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, should I put a coffee in this? So for second year, you're living with just three other people and you? Three other people and me. So yeah, four, four people, uh, four bedroom house. Um, four bedroom house? Oh wait, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'm not sharing with anyone. Four on suites as well, mm -hmm. which is really good. Um, which is, you Bloody know. Bloody bougie. I know, it's bougier I know. than our house. How have no, you decided who's getting like the biggest room? They're all pretty much the same size, which is what was a real win. Because yeah. there's no like debating. You don't want to be in the box room. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited to come and visit it. It's yeah. so bizarre. Do you think you'll prefer living like that to living in like halls? Well, I've got a really good flat at the moment. Like the people that I'm with. Um, yeah. Um, it's it's sort of like hard to compare really because well one I haven't lived true. housing yet and two it's like really different yeah that's so first true. year it's like Whoa, you've got your, your, your kitchen and then you've got your bedroom whereas second year you've got like a full house so I think I will enjoy it because the people I'm staying with you know I've yeah. known them for ages Years. now all right I'm gonna take the hoodie off now because I'm really warm and we slipped the car right up so shall we explain why you haven't been in any videos since Christmas even though you've lived at home and been here for over a month I now. think I think we should yes. yeah um so the, the start of the year didn't it didn't start too good for me started um, badly to be honest it did I had glandular fever or preset and that's yeah. what it was yeah uh, which basically meant for the first two weeks of uh, 2022 I couldn't eat or drink really or breathe really yeah. um the whole back of my throat swell 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 swell, swell, swell. swell. you don't need to know the rest i it was it wasn't a fun time no for anyone. it was so bad i have literally never in my life seen anybody as ill to start with like between christmas and new year we we're like maybe it's covid like everybody had covid so we we're like rest and then we'll do a test did a test it was negative like a pcr pcr test it was negative so then i was like Huh. Something Not is COVID. wrong. What's wrong with me? And then rang the doctors. Um, no, that was like a good week later. It, like it you was. were just getting progressively worse for like a week. Yeah, I thought like each day that like, I thought maybe I'll wake up and I'll feel better. Yeah. And I just kept feeling worse to the point where like I couldn't breathe. Like no, you couldn't breathe. breathe. Like I was struggling to breathe. Like every breath was like forced. You spent literally two weeks in bed. Like yeah. I didn't see Harry for like two weeks. Um, and then I got some drugs, antibiotics, and then I gradually just got better across like the next week. Yeah. Um, to the point where I am now, where I'm but pretty we're much like fully recovered. three weeks into January. But though. yeah, it's, it's it took, took a while, and I had exams over that period as well. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I literally couldn't get out of bed, mm -hmm. so I, I was um, a bit worried about that. But we got through them. Yeah. You and... were lucky that only one exam was during that period. Mm -hmm. Like you had one exam today, and obviously, it's like okay today. But last week, it was like you were still on your antibiotics, still couldn't really talk, like. His whole, like, this whole section of his, like, throat and his glands was just, like, puffed up. Like, really puffed up. It was really not good, actually. No, it wasn't. And it's a good job that I was here and not at uni. Because mm. if I was at uni, I probably would have just accepted death. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I think the doctors, to be fair, were really good. Like, and mum. Yeah, she's, and she's, mom. Yes, she has helped a lot. Yeah. That was enough of the sob stories. We're here. We survived. I actually know two other people that have had glandular fever since Christmas. So I was like, it's weird that I've never really known anybody with glandular fever and now I know three people at the same time with glandular fever. Odd. Okay, got a couple of questions from Instagram. This kind of was, it kind of made me sad, but I thought it would be funny to answer anyway. Um, obviously, I spoke on my Insta story the other day about potential travel plan and um, the fact that hopefully, fingers crossed, Tom and I are going to be going away for like quite a long period of time. Somebody asked, how do you think mum will be when you go back to uni and I go 
and I'm not here at the same time and like everybody's just left. I think she might just self-combust to be honest. <laughs> um, well she says she's got the dog but recently the dog hasn't been her friend either. Like, oh no she'll be sad if you say that. But yeah she um, she's gone from having all of us at home obviously like more than usual over the last two years to both of us leaving home like at the same time. Obviously Harry has been at uni like for the last three months. I think she's got quite used to you being back here over Christmas. Well I was saying to her uh, yesterday I've actually been home by like next week I'll have been home for Christmas longer than I spent any time in Leeds without coming home. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. I get that. Somebody asked if we have any exciting travel videos coming soon because they miss the ones from summer. I don't know. I do know. We do. It might be the next video on this channel. Okay, a couple of quick fire ones for you before we head back on the road because the car is wowie. Steamed up. Steamed up, yes. Uh, somebody said, what is your favourite nightclub in Leeds? Oh, you know what? I haven't been there in that long. I, d I can't answer this. The Bog Standard Dancers Prism, isn't it? And that's, that the, one, is the, correct that's the one that I went to a lot during Freshers. And you, you know can what? catch it on an absolutely terrible night and it is, <laughs> it is, is, is awful. Probably me tomorrow. It is awful, yeah. Um, or you can go like during Freshers on like a Monday and it would be like really good. Like, yeah. I've probably had my best night out in space. Con con controversial, but it was just it was just three of us, and we we just like I don't know, we just had a laugh. It was just just a really good night. You know what I think about Prism? What? It's the weather spoons of the nightclub world. Yeah, like it's that bad. It's good. Yeah, like you could have the worst night out of your life there or you could just have everything go right and the people in there be great and the DJ be really good and actually it's like the best night. Yeah, it's very hit and miss. I might be going tomorrow. <laughs> But if I do, it'll be the first time I've been out in prison since I was like 19. Wow. And I fear I may be too old for <laughs> those nightclubs now. Maybe, yeah, there is yeah. a lot, yeah. Back room's also good. I like back room. I've not heard of that one. Um, <laughs> the gulpy gulpy. No, it's the, it's the back end of my glandular fever. It's caused me to have indigestion because I'm not used to eating or drinking. Oh, really? Mm. Somebody said. <laughs> Sorry, I said it's so interesting. Okay. Idea, okay, moving Come on. Mind. What is the best thing about living away from home? The freedom to do what you want when you want without anyone telling you not to do it. In a in a non in a non what's the word suspicious way. in a non suspicious way yeah no just like the so all the girls that you've met in the nightclubs yeah that's the best thing about being away from what? home. What? When did those words come out of my mouth? No, that's not what I mean. I mean the freedom of I have a very good vocabulary today. What's, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Hang on, you can cut this bell. What was I even saying? I've lost my train of thought. Oh, for example, right? You know when I before I go to bed, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Mum comes up the stairs and she's like on me to use the bathroom and clean my teeth early so I don't wake people up. Yeah. In Leeds, I can. Brush your teeth at four in the morning and nobody's gonna tell you Exactly, off. that that kind of freedom. You do that at home anyway. No, I don't. I've been asleep for like two hours, the bathroom's near my bedroom, Harry just goes in and just like, <laughs> might as well just have a bath. I work on a different schedule to people, that's not my fault. Okay, somebody said the worst thing about living at home. Living away from uh -oh. home, sorry. <laughs> the worst thing living away Probably from Molly, home. Probably yeah. Molly, Um, Cooking, it's just yeah. long. It's just so long. I really don't think the chef gene runs in our family. Like none of us want to cook ever. Dad. Dad can cook, but he like can, he but doesn't he always doesn't. have the time. And mum really doesn't enjoy it. Mum hates cooking. I am not very good at it, you know that. I'm working on it. Yeah. And when I get it right, I don't mind it, but I'm not good. I'm just not very good at it. And I see it as a chore because I'm at uni. There's just easier alternatives. <laughs> Uber Eats. I eat Uber Eats. Yeah. If you'd like to sponsor me. <laughs> Uber Eats or uh, delivery. Hit Harry up. Oh, I've got one that people want to know. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, I do not have a girlfriend now. I am single. I don't believe you. I thought I'd cleared this up in many videos, but apparently not. No. So, yeah. Well, actually, no. It's gone past. It's gone full circle. Like Harry was single. He'd been single for ages, to be fair. But then I thought he had a girlfriend in Leeds that he wasn't telling us about. He's adamant that he doesn't, but I believe he may be lying. No. So if you're his girlfriend in Leeds and you're watching this, please reach out and DM me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I just want to know. I'm just interested. No, I don't. That is the truth. And this car is very steamed up. Yeah, we are going to go now. So, I've pretty much finished my coffee, actually. A good two thirds. This is three. a nice latte, actually. It's not bad. I had a coffee this morning before my exam. So, so did I. I'm all coffeed. Caffeine too, coffeed. Too caffeine coffeed up today. Okay, <laughs> right. Crikey. <laughs> I'm going to end this video here. It was just a Q&A catch up, but I hope you have enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed my Costa. I'm not going to lie. My toasty was very nice.
This is my yeah. point where I talk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talking things. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been out of practice. I, I haven't <laughs> I done this in ages. Can you tell? Yeah. Thank you so much to Uni Homes for sponsoring the beginning of this video. As I said, the link to their website will be the top line in the description. I really recommend if you are a student that you check them out. Thank you so much for watching. And as we hinted at, Harry will actually be in the next video going up on this channel too. So you will get to see a bit more of him before he moves to Leeds. If you want to. If you don't, that sucks because he's gonna be in it anyway. Don't watch the video. Hey, no, do. The video is gonna be great. Video. It's gonna be good. Isn't it? Oh, uh, that video, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah do yeah. watch that one. Do watch, Actually, do watch that, that one. one. Um, rivals the um, Land's End to Land's End to Grow as well. Can I say that? Yeah, I can say that. Yeah, I think it does rival that one. Like, it doesn't exist yet, but I'm sure it will rival. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye. Bye. You're going to spill that down yourself as well.